Hey guys, uh, got some more on Chris. Update on Chris, my neighbor with the air conditioner. You're gonna love this one. This is the epitome of the crescendo on top of the chocolate cake. <clears throat> You're gonna love this. All right, before I get into that, I'll tell you the rest of it. So, talking to the kids and they said Chris drives the murder bus Chris drives the murder bus my neighbor I what the hell are you talking about his spirit his uh spirit I guess I, I didn't really get too much about it but you can extrapolate from the what they meant the murder bus Chris don't even talk about it. They always talk in like weird metaphors, but it's straight to the point. The murder bus. <clears throat> um, I have no, I assume he's driving the bus, the murder bus. That's his history. I don't know if it's past lives or on this earth as of two days ago. All right. Uh, they went on to say that I made history again by killing Chris, just removing his soul from the foundation. I made history. His body, his body's soul. You have a foundation, a thorough, a thorough foundation in your in your body that keeps your soul locked in. I destroyed it, released his soul. He is released. I'm working with a zombie now. They say I made history doing that. Christ, Christ and St. Lucian people, whatever. I went, then I went on to my, uh, oh, before I died, uh, I want, turns out the seeds I got back, they took them out like two days later. They left me two of my original seeds of 16. They took out all of them except two and replaced them with some garbage. And they put the girl seeds back in me, way up, way up here. My, 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 uh, my seeds are down here where I like them at a medium level. Level four or five. And the girl sees were up here seven, eight, which freaked me out. The girl from the hospital. They took her seeds. The girl that's in the hospital, they took her seeds, put them in me again. Then the next uh, day or two after that, I was getting bitchy. Because I was starting to realize my seeds were fucked with. They took out the girl seeds and they took out my seeds and left me with two. And they said they weren't going to mess with them ever again. Breach Priest said they weren't going to mess with them ever again. I was so pissed that they did this. So. I was pissed. I was fucking pissed. So I, uh, that they removed my seeds again and gave me garbage, garbage seeds. That did something. I don't even know. I don't even pay attention to what they say concerning the seeds they put in me. 
I was on a rampage at the time with Massacre and Chris. A thorough body. I learned some stuff, though. Uh, Julie and Elizabeth told me he got to get his sheepskin, sheepskins. Uh, what's the fucking sheepskin? They told me. It's a thorough skin. When you take it, when you cut it and remove it, like his bones and organs and his skins, take it out of his place and bring it to you so he can't get it. It takes longer for him to heal. I then learned, not from them, not from Julie and Elizabeth, I then learned, well, I got to back up. So I was pissed. I was ready to leave the priest. They, they said, you can ask for a synonym. I'm like, what the hell? Here comes another one. What? What's the synonym? Because I want to leave the priest. I was sick of it. They said, you get two Christ's. Two Christ's. And uh, you're exempt from jury. So, there's a jury out on me for everything I do. Now, they say jury, which means go to court, all that. They just wrap it up in jury. <clears throat> from what I understand is a synonym is a way of getting two Christ exempt from the laws concerning chopping up Chris's ethereal skins in his body to kill him faster. I'll rape, kill him, breach him, kill him. And I, I went nuts on him. And the priest pissed me off with stealing my seeds again. I had it. And, uh, I'm exempt from the jury. Because I'm in Christ. I got two Christ working with me. And I, he came into my head that day. Came right into my head. And he goes, I got something to give you. And I said, get out. I don't want it. Not here. You go in my heart. Stay out of my head. And I closed the door on him. Basically, I wasn't mad or anything. He's a good Christ. He's solid. But he's a good guy. He's a he's really mellow. The one Christ I met, and I didn't want him. He wanted to check out my diseases. Diseases are problems that grow in you. My last disease was anger, rage. Anger rage at Chris months ago. It turned out to be a coyote. The coyote was getting bigger and meaner and rottener. And that that was my subconscious. The coyote's still there, but it's passive now. It's protecting its own. It's I learned that your subconscious is protected by an animal. Now, I've had experiences where I've seen people turn into dogs, literally. Like, not not like Wolfman or, or whatever, but shapeshift into a dog. My grandma did it once. She was, she was, my mom did something to piss my grandma off, and my grandma went fucking eat shit. And this fucking dog came out, and her her mouth went, came out like a snout on a dog, and it just, and I'm like, holy fuck! I watched it, I visualized it. It happened again in the second cup. 
with a customer when, and I, uh, I just learned now that the subconscious, the, the anger, the rage that protects your subconscious is an animal in everybody, supposedly. That's what Christ says. And for me, it was a coyote in my dreams. The coyote was getting bad. Christ pacified it and took away the rage and anger. This new Christ, the synonym Christ, I don't know why they call it a synonym. I never did get an answer for that because shit skyrocketed after that, after I got this new Christ. <sighs> He, he wanted to come in and check for a new diseases. I said, I ain't got no new diseases other than the coyote, the fucking priestess triggered, pissed off. Other than that, the other Christ killed it with his vampires. I call them vampires, familiars, like I'm using to kill Chris. Spiritually, <sighs> the end of the last Christ found nothing wrong with me, but the new Christ wanted to check again. I'm like, no, he ain't doing it, and it's not that. At least he asked. He asked. No one ever asked me before. Can I come in your head, Rich? And this is Jesus Christ. Can I come in your head and see if for diseases, see what's going on in there? I'm like, no. Talk to the last ten Christ. They've been in my head. They know what's going on. I go, thank you for asking, though. Thank you very much for asking. First time in history. You made history today. You asked me. Couldn't fucking believe it. So he does respect me. As far as I'm concerned, he's solid. The Christ I'm working with. He's solid, dude. And eventually I said, after I after I realized he was solid, and he asked me, which no other Christ ever did, no priest ever did, no priestess ever did, nothing ever did. You can have access. He never went in. If he did, I didn't know it. So. Um. He then, the girls, my daughters, Julie, Angela, and Elizabeth, they're screaming at me. And I was talking about Vincent, my avatar. He goes out, chops up Chris. Now, the difference between that is me doing it and him doing it saves me from the energy, saves me from the energy of Chris. So when I'm doing it, I get all Chris's mental framework, his buzz from his head to my head, and I have to push it away. Keeps me up all fucking night, drives me nuts. I did that twice. I use my seeds on them. I'm usually mashed with him. I use my seeds on them to do some work. And the same thing happens. I get it all internally. So fuck it. Oh, popped the avatar. They said, Rich, Vincent's menacing. The kids are scared of him. This is months after the first time, the first avatar. So anyway, Christ comes in, the new Christ, the synonym Christ, which exempts me from St. Illusion Law on abuse of Chris or spiritual whatever. 
I don't fucking know. Something like that. It says he's menacing. Menacing. He is huge. And he's got a knife. A hunting knife that's like fucking three quarters of a sword. But it's a proper knife. Hunting knife. I'm like, Chris then. I wake up the next day. I'm talking to Chris. He goes, Rich, you got to do this right away. I'm like, what? I'm ready to take him out, skin him. Me, his ethereal skins. He goes, you got to do it the right, right way. Do it while he's sleeping. So Chris is in his bed sleeping at four o'clock in the morning. Okay. Chris is in his bed sleeping at four o'clock. I go over there and I touch him and he's like sunk. All blah. It's like a corpse laying there, but but not. So I'm I'm feeling I'm checking him out, Chris. And uh, I'm ready to chop him, skin him. He goes, okay, do your thing. And then he's right now, he's floating on the ocean. I mean, what do you mean? The, the eternal ocean. I go, he is? He, Christ says, yeah. The waters, the ocean, he's floating on the ocean right now. <clears throat> so this is the best time to fucking kill him. Skin him. Ethereal skins. Because he's floating on the ocean. I'm all Am I in the ocean? He goes, Not right now, but when you woke up you're not. But you usually do. You usually are. And I'm like, God damn. I didn't know that. And he goes, when you're done skinning them, there's a membrane. I go, yeah, I know the membrane. I got one too. And he goes, you got to cut the membrane off. And I go, thanks, bud. And his socks. <laughs> Take his socks off and demembrane them. Yep, and that's what you do. And so I did. I skinned them. And then the membrane, I cut, I popped a hole in his head and I cut through the membrane down his asshole. He, remember, he's a zombie. In order for me to turn off the air conditioner, in order for me to turn off the air conditioner and sleep in my apartment again, I have to eliminate Chris. I don't want to say that. I play on words as YouTube. So, when I eliminate Chris and breach his heart, then the air conditioner goes off. So, I did that. I took his skin, I took his membrane around. I took his membrane off him, and uh, he floated away, just floating around. Whatever, I felt satisfied. Got my shit done. Job, got my job. Got my job done. <clears throat> and I thank Grace for that tip. I didn't know. I didn't know about that. I forgot about the membrane. He says, "All right." So me, I here I am with Grace. Help me kill the zombie Chris in the flesh, spiritually. And he's okay with it. He's telling me how to do it right. He goes, I'm a Christ. I can't do it. But I'll guide you through it. I'm like, dude. Dude. You, you're flooring me every day. He goes, this is why I'm here. He's a synonym, synonym Christ. That he works with me on a special event. Releasing Chris and 
he knows all the ins and outs and the red tape of Christ. Where I don't, my agenda is to release Chris. Christ don't live in. Christ is not living. Or no. Chris is not living in Doom City. He's out of there. They don't know his secrets yet. Except the murder bus. Whatever that means. I know what it means, but I can extrapolate. <clears throat> I know a bunch of other shit too. They gotta verify it. Christ has gotta verify it. They've been working with him. They've been working with him. He lives in Raccoon City. Raccoon City is where the region priests live. Which is just a step up in a huge ass bubble. Saint Lucian. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. I've been paying attention to his spirit. So his spirit's at level three, held captive, and living in Raccoon City, which is controlled by the region priests. And now time comes. Now the time comes for the crescendo of doom. You don't fucking believe this. Remember they took my seeds out? My 16 seeds, they left me two. They took my seeds out. The region priest told me to my face, loud and clear, all witnesses around, we are giving you back your 16 seeds for the rest of your life. Nothing will happen to them again. Next day, they took them out. Guess what they did to them? Guess what they did to my seeds? Time's up. It took two, two seeds from the creator with all my experiences, the past thousand lifetimes, however many I had since I got to this fucking earth or before that. <clears throat> Yeah, everything I've ever done handed down to me from the creator. I had to go through absolute hell to get my seeds. Torture, yep. Got my knees broken. Did Atlantis. Daniel Boone, all of it, all of it. Every time I jerked off in past lives, all of it. Everything that's sacred to me is on those seas. Guess what they did? They gave him to Chris. A fucking pedophile. Lowest fucking life form. They have they haven't they haven't proved he's a pedophile. They haven't approved they haven't approved he's a pedophile, so he's not a pedophile until they prove it he is he is or he isn't it's still up in the air. But when you see a fucking sixteen year old kid 
prostitute walk into his fucking room. I all but got it on fucking tape. And spend the fucking night with the air conditioner off because the little boy don't like it. What's what, 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 what? You think it's the first fucking prostitute you ever had? He's 60 years old, 65 years old, 66. You think the first time he ever done it? No. He does a fucking, he comes home every week. He goes out and drives his fucking little pimp mobile. Picks up his prostitutes, the same ones or different ones. Whoever the fucking pimp is, hands out these kids in Chatham and pimps them off. This is what I'm working with. I went fucking nuts. I, 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 Christ is going to charge me with abuse and I wasn't abusing anybody. I went fucking nuts. I was abusing a priest. I left the manger. Christ kicked me out of the manger. Not permanently. Just while I was sounded off. To make a long story short, I was a really bad boy. Last night and this morning. I'm not mad at all the region priests, but I ain't ever going back. I ain't never going back. I have to be damn near dead for them to go back. For me to go back. Because I don't know who the bad guys are, the bad priests are. I don't know who the good priests are. Because I've never seen any of them. The reason they gave him my seeds, they say, ETs. Chris wants to know the ETs. I've had hundreds and hundreds of face-to-face contacts with the ETs. He didn't come to see my experiences with life forms. He don't want my experiences with life forms. Butterflies, moths, birds. He didn't, he don't want my experiences with the railroad, watching trains go by all my life. No. He's only going to get so much for the ETs. He's only going to get so much from the ETs. So what else is there on there? What else does a pedophile want? Everything from your deepest love in your life. The deepest, most innocent, most fucking God profound fucking experience you've ever had is given to A fucking pedophile. A fucking piece of shit walking the earth. That's why I'm fucking mad. I'm so fucking mad I can't even cry. Go to your sacred place, everything. Go to your sacred innocence. Everything you are. And hand it over to a fucking pedophile. Fucking scum piece of shit. A low life fucking drug user pedophile.
contemplate that. Taking your innocence. Christ didn't approve it, as far as I know. If he did, fuck him. This new Christ, he's there. They're, they ain't arresting the priest. They're doing a review. They got the investigators to do a review. Check it all out. They're working on that. Tina told me this morning. Christ told me, yeah. When he was reviewing your seeds for the last week, we got some more secrets from him. I go, what, the murder bus? Yeah. We got some more stuff. He's a citizen of Iraq. During the Iraqi war, Iraqi freedom, it was called Operation Iraqi Freedom. Remember that one? Remember that one? Yeah. He came to Canada. That's what Cray said. I've never talked to the guy. I never talked to the guy. So he's from the Iraq war. Hence the murder bus. That has yet to be proven with Christ. I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. I still ain't processed all this shit. So that's an update. Oh, I'll tell you what happened. Um, I left the region priest. I'm never going back. Christ got all my seeds. I told Christ and I told the priest the two seeds you put in them. Keep them. I don't fucking want them back. Maybe someday they got them. Christ has got the seeds. Maybe someday put them in me, but I don't want them right now. Rest of my life, I don't want them. Mom can clean them. Don't put them in me. Put. I got 63 seeds. All I want is 16. Get two more. From, get two Daniel Boone's and throw them in. Fucking, what do you want? What do you want me to say? So, I ain't going back to the region, priest. I'm not mad at them all. But I can't deal with this shit. I, need, I got my... Got my two Iraqi rectum pedophile seeds back. How do you get this shit off that? How do you get how do you get that shit off my seeds? I don't know. Other than mom, I have no idea. I say when mom comes down and cleans them with the essence. Till then, fuck I don't want them in me. And I promise I'm going to kill that fucker. When I die, I just, the war is just beginning. But I'll wait in the illusion like a fucking sentinel for a thousand years. Waiting for that fucker to get there. When he goes to sleep every night, he got to stay in wherever he is, whatever city he is. Is he answers that illusion. He answers the illusion. I'm fucking shooting him. I, 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 his spirit. The shit I got to put up with from his fucking zombie body. Currently, right now. 
I don't even sleep in this building because of him. I can't sleep in the building because of him. And his fucking air conditioner. And he's got my fucking seeds. My fucking seeds. So have you ever been fucking raped? Physically, I can't imagine it. But everything you are, everything you hold sacred in your heart. Bye bye. It's on the black market. Might as well be. It's like. I don't even know what it's like. I know what it's like, but I can't explain it to you. Fucking region priest. Fucking region priest. Later, guys.